Okay, so the question of the day is how do we use Stylus RMX? So I'm going to create a software instrument, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say multi timbral and I'm going to give it eight channels. Now we've talked about grouping outputs of instruments, but what about instruments that can receive more than one MIDI channel on input? If you have something like contact, Contact has the ability to, um, like you load up a string section. It's got, you know, cellos is one channel, uh, basses is another channel, violas are another channel. You have one contact, but it has all these instruments, and you want to control them individually. This is how you would do it. <coughs> In this case, we're going to be using Stylus RMX, which has eight channels. So it's got eight slots, and we're going to have the ability to um, play each slot using Logic. So up here I have multi timbral selected and I have eight slots software instrument. So when I hit create, it creates instrument one, instrument one, instrument one. These are all assigned to instrument one. However, they are all assigned to different MIDI channels. So if I open this up, it says channel one. If I click on this one, it says channel six. Okay, go in here, Audio Instrument, Spectrosonics, Stylus RMX. So here's Stylus RMX. I click. Down here, here are the eight channels. These are the eight slots that we're going to use to create our groove. So I go to Sound Check up here, I click, and I'm going to populate the first channel. So over here, I go to Groove Elements and I'm going to choose my first element. So I'm going to go to kicks and uh, that's fine. Now I'm going to go to my second slot and I'll go to groove elements and I'll choose uh, maybe shakers. And now I can listen to my original one. That's cool. Now I'll go to my next slot, and I'll go to uh, Groove Elements, and maybe I'll choose a snare. Okay, let's see how that sounds. Liking that and so on and so forth. I'm just going to pick some random ones now. Here's, that's four, here's five. Cool. So now I have five different groove elements. To hear them all at once, I hit this play button. Now when I play Logic, and I hit play here, it's all in sync with my Logic song. But over in Logic, you remember how we have these, you know, these eight different slots? Well, here's what I'm going to do. Slot one, okay, this says dry kick. So I'm just going to double click here. I'm going to say kick. Now what's here? What's on two? We've got a shaker, right? Double click, shaker. Go to the next one. What do we got there? We got a snare of some kind. So I say snare. And then we've got some sticks. And then I got some hi hats. So now what do I want to do? I want to. Uh, I want to actually see the MIDI for these parts, right? Because these are all being played via MIDI. Well, here's what you do. You grab right here, and you drag into the track. So then I'll go to the second one, and I'll drag that into the track. Go to the third one, drag it in. And the fourth one, drag it in. 
And then we have the fifth one. Drag that sucker in. Now I'll close up RMX for a second. And I'll hit play. Now some are longer than others, right? So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll loop it out to the end. I'll take the upper right hand corner here, loop that out to the end. Take this one as well, and this one. Now I'm gonna use a key command, Control L. And there's my RMX group. So that's the simplest form of what we can do uh, with stylus. Now here's the other thing. Stylus, um, you can either stack up your grooves that way. Okay, like I just had these five slots, right? And I was just stacking pieces that they had in their libraries here. Here's all the different elements, right? So I'll go back and I'll take these out for a second. So the other way that you can use stylus is you can use it in kit mode. And what it does is it takes all these slots away and it just puts one drum in each slot and you, you play it like a drum kit. So right now we have hi-hats there. And if I, if I actually started um, playing my keyboard and I played it in the right range, I'd be able to play those different hi-hats. But um, if we go to the mixer, and in the mixer, say, uh, turn it from multi to kit, Okay, it says it's going to wipe out all the sounds that I just used. So I hit OK. And now I can pick a drum kit. So I'll click and hold here. And I'll go to uh, Factory Kits, uh, Ambient. That's fine. And it's going to load up a drum kit. So then I have the ability to play that drum kit. Those are all the elements of the drum kit. Let's see, where's my... So that can be kind of fun if you want to use uh, stylus as a more, you know, just an instrument. But all those slots that we had, you remember all these? Those don't apply anymore. Basically, we could have everything on one track, and this would be a kit. Okay? And I can get rid of these, and there we go. So that's when you're playing stylus as a kit versus using it as a multi-channel input instrument.